Hey guys, this time around, I'm sharing with you the Native Rhythms Music Festival. It's here in Wickham Park, Melbourne, Florida. It happens every year and it's um, uh, Native American style fluting, um, percussion instruments, live music, vendors, food. It's a really, really cool and fun event that lasts all weekend long. This is on a Sunday. Also today I'll be joined by my niece. She's from out of town and uh, I'm really excited to introduce her to you guys. And uh, well, with no further ado, why don't we go ahead and get started and let's see what we can get into. All right guys. Hey everybody, this is my beautiful niece Carly, it's my brother's daughter, and uh, I just was really excited to, to, for you guys to meet her. She's beautiful and just an absolutely wonderful person to hang out with. Anything to, got anything to say to my audience? Um, well, Jungle Jay is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You can learn a lot from him, and I love my uncle. Oh. <laughs> so we're having a good time here at the Native Rhythms uh, Festival, and and that's all there is to it. We're just having a great time and a lot of vendors, a lot of old friends. And, and, uh, and I'm going to introduce you to a couple of people that, I'll, that I know. And, and, uh, and we'll see where we can go from there. All right, guys. Ready? Hey everybody, I want to introduce you to a really good friend of mine. His name is Utah Ferris and him and I go way back 
probably a good 10 plus years that he's attended powwows and festivals like that and we've become good friends over the years. It's really nice to see him this year. And, uh, and this is him, Utah Ferris. He's a flute maker. I'll uh, put a link to his website in the description, but uh, his work is absolutely amazing. So, but uh, he's got a story that I've that stuck with me for many years and I want you guys to experience the story as well because it's hilarious. Several, several years ago I got on eBay looking at flutes for sale and a man had a flute on there and his story with the flute raised it from being a 50 or 75 dollar flute up to a 500 dollar flute and it kind of goes back to some old circus stuff. He said that he was sitting by a campfire playing his flute, and he quit, but he could still hear the flute playing off in the distance. So he got up, him and his son, and they drove about a mile down the road, and they could still hear the flute play. So he got back in his car, and he drove a little ways further. After he got about five miles from his camp, he could no longer hear it. So he drove back to his camp, and he could hear it playing again. The next day he got up and he posted it on eBay along with that story. And the last time I looked at it, that flute was selling for $450. I discontinued looking at it because I couldn't quit laughing. <laughs> what was it you told me? You said there was a sucker born every minute? Yeah, well, you know, that's back to the old sucker stuff, you know. <laughs> I think it was, it was, was it W.C. Fields or one of the circus guys said there's a sucker born every minute. And that guy had 10 of them on the line. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a good story. I love that. Yeah, well, so, you know, it, and it's true. It is true. Yeah, and well, and you know what's really bad is I keep wanting to do that because I've got some of those seventy-five dollar flutes I'd like to sell, but I can't tell that story. You know, I can't <laughs> tell by I can't tell anybody how sacred the flute is because it makes that noise. And the only reason I'm selling it is because it's got too much power for me to handle. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> It's one of my favorite artists that's about to take the stage. His name is Arvo Bird. He has a YouTube as well. Make sure you check out his music. It's pretty incredible. All right. Let the stage to Arvo Bird. <laughs> Thank you. Dragonfly represents transformation because it starts out as a nymph in the water that changes itself into a flying aerial acrobat of brilliant colors that take a lifetime to develop and that teach us as we reach maturity, our true colors should shine forth. But in order for that to happen, we must acknowledge the gifts we've been given, honor them, and live from our hearts.
what do you think? That we had a good time today? Yes, it was amazing. Yeah, we had a great time. The, saw a lot of my old friends and introduced my beautiful niece to all my friends. And they're, <laughs> everybody gets all giddy around her. It's funny. So. <laughs> I love that you showed me new things. Yeah, well, you know. Like you showed me everything. <laughs> I would have never, like, I would have never came here. Yeah, I mean, it's like, one of those things you just got to know so about. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy I did. I'm glad you came <laughs> along, yeah. we So far, we've had a great weekend. I took her all over Florida, my neighborhood, and introduced her to all my kids, her cousins. And, yes, and, uh, I love my cousins. Yeah, we had a They're great awesome. time. So I'm really happy that you guys came down and had Thank a visit. You. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> my niece is so pretty. <laughs> cool, you ready to go do something else? Yes. All right, let's get out of here. See you guys. Thanks for watching and take care.